Welcome to the third installment of our wonderful grills and smokers. Today we're talking about these gas grills. Yes, uh, I am excited about this one. I like the idea of gas grills. You know, I am a home cook, so I like cooking at home. Uh, and I, I, this channel was made to help the average home cook prepare stunning meals for their families and guests. And so a lot of people when they get their homes, one of the things that they want, if they're cooks or they like to cook a lot, they want that gas. In my home right now, I'll be honest with you, I have an electric stove and I am able to accomplish a lot of really good things with said uh, uh, electric stove, but man, to have gas burners and things like that and be able to prepare on those things, oh my goodness. We, we like real fire. I'm not gonna say I'm a pyromaniac or anything like that, but I do like the thing Thing that fire does when turning it up turning it down is just really really cool to me conceptually and so today we are talking about gas grills and I'm excited about that so this is the third installment in our grills and smokers topic and we'll get right into it so our first grill out of every single grill that we've had it's definitely the most expensive so this is specifically for someone who wants to implant uh, something into their home, uh, into their uh, backyard or something like that. And so this is uh, a dream for me personally. It's the Alfresco ALXE 42NG uh, standard grill made with natural gas. It is at the time of recording this video, $6,349. Let's look at some of the moot points on this. It is an outdoor built-in gas grill, heavy duty stainless steel construction, premium uh, AccuFire Acu titanium and stainless steel burner system. Uh, refractive ceramic briquettes and stainless steel cooking grates combines to eliminate hot and cold spots to ensure professional quality results across the entire cooking surface. Integrated heavy duty rotisserie system with chain driven whisper quiet operation produces hassle-free results to expand your grilling repertoire. <laughs> Overall dimensions are 42 by 27.25 by 26.0625 inches. That's the width, the depth, and the height. On to our next grill. It's the Blaze Pro Lux Marine Grade Portable Propane Gas Grill. I like it for straight up outside cooking. It's only $899.99 at the time of recording this this video blaze grills offers the best in class lifetime warranty so it does have a lifetime warranty 316 l stainless steel exterior for higher resistance to salt water corrosion same push to turn uh, flamethrower ignition as built in and freestanding grills two front facing claps for locking the lid in place during storage or transport uses one pound propane cylinders 20 pound tanks with the included tank adapter I do not see the space on this or how big it is. It does not look uh, that large according to the photo, but I'm assuming you can cook a few burgers or one a nice size uh, steak or small brisket or something, maybe a flat. Coming up is the TEC, which I love because that is the initials to my newly born son as of last Wednesday. So this is the Sterling Patio Infrared Grill Propane Gas Grill. At the time of this video is $4,035.50 two side shelves and a warming rack. Once again, I'm still uh, amazed about this alfresco one, so that's good to know. But obviously this is a professional grade grill. I like it a lot. But if this is something that's in your budget and you want a professional grade propane gas grill, then this is definitely uh, the direction I would go. I am a big fan of this Weber Genesis 2 liquid propane grill, something that I would consider consider getting personally. I just like the brand Weber, to be honest. Uh, I'll, I'll 
you know, someone asked me if I was biased toward Weber, and I was probably gonna say yes. <laughs> um, I really, really like the idea of this one as far as being in my collection of grills. It's, it's a liquid propane unit. It is equipped with a powerful GS4 high-performance grilling system. Uh, you can use the side burner to simmer barbecue. So it has a side burner. Oh, that's really, really awesome. To simmer barbecue or sauce veggies, uh, infinite control burner valves, sear station. It creates an intense heat zone to quickly add or sear marks on meat. That's really, really awesome. And the dimensions on the lid, with the lid open is 62 height, 59 inch wide, and 31 inch depth. The lid closed is 47 inch height, 59 inch width, and 29 inch depth. Uh, primary cooking area is 513 square inches, so this is something for home. However, you can definitely smoke a brisket on there or do uh, a nice uh, smoked pulled pork. Solid seven millimeter stainless steel rod cooking grates provide superior heat retention. 3D interactive assembly instructions for this product are available through the free built-in app. Free, uh, it's called the free built app, B-I-L-T, all caps. Capital uh, app. So the app is called Built Boat. I like the idea of it. This is one I am honestly considering. I like this one personally. As far as between this one and the Alfresco, reality in my finances says yes to the Weber and down the line for the uh, Alfresco. Next in this uh, presentation is going to be the Broil King vertical gas cabinet smoker. Like the idea of this one too, and it's $1,009 at the time of recording this video. A stainless steel burner output, 770 square inches, 4,968 square centimeters total cooking space for cubic feet total cooking capacity uh, in there. Four adjustable stainless steel cooking grids. Uh, that's that's a, a thing that I like about some of these natural gas cookers. You have multiple levels that you can put different meats or different items on and you can cook them in that same uh, temperature and, and get similar results depending on the meat and or veggies that you're choosing to cook and what it is you want to get out of it. I, I like the idea of uh, this one. So I, I definitely want one vertical smoker. If this is something that you desire uh, with those four adjustable stainless steel cooking grids, it does have extra large stainless steel water bowl, it's smoker tray, 16 integrated meat hooks, and four sturdy tool hooks, convenient bottle opener, three heavy duty door handles. That wraps up all of those wonderful gas grills and smokers stick with me we got one more of these keep going once again if you like this content hit like subscribe hit the notification bell share leave a comment below out of those wonderful gas grills which one would you uh, like personally? What are you thinking about getting? Uh, are you just going to use your grill for Labor Day or is this something you're looking to make moves? Like, let me know. Uh, do you wanna just cook for your family? You wanna just cook at home and be impressive with your cooking? Or is are you wanting to start a catering business? Is this something you want to do in the world of making a profession? Let me know in the comments below. Um, once again, thank you for watching. The last uh, of these four installments is gonna be on electric grills in this playlist. Stick around for it. Once again, don't love to be loved, love to love.